hi guys welcome back to my channel for yet another video if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe and join the family to my returning to my returning service thank you so much for coming back let's get so into today's it. video is proudly sponsored by me <laughs> myself and i so yeah no one sponsored this video but me everything you see here i might have bought or if i didn't buy i was gifted but i just happened to use it and i love it so yeah today's video is my current favorite i'm gonna be telling you guys my current favorite things from movies to snacks to makeup to skincare to brands to everything so i'm gonna try and share as much as i can and i hope you guys enjoy this video this video was highly requested like literally so i hope you guys do enjoy and remember to subscribe and join the family if you haven't and let's get into it so i made a list of like all the things i want to say i classified things into their uh, respective categories so i don't know where to start actually let's start with snacks because i feel like that's fun just to warm up yeah so i'm gonna tell you guys my favorite snacks so when it comes to snacks i'm not someone who snacks a lot i actually don't like snacks i know i don't like them and i stopped buying them i used to buy them before i moved here in my old house but then I stopped because they will go bad because I don't eat them at all. But I have a few things that I buy sometimes. But I try not to snack because it's... I'm trying to be, you know... I'm trying to be a lady and not like... Because those things are sugary and they have fat and all those things. I'm trying to gain weight. So I try not to snack. But also I just don't like snacks. I just don't fancy them. So here are my favorite snacks. Number one is sand tops. I am obsessed with sand top. I am obsessed. So my favorite flavor was um, the black currant one, this one. This was my favorite. But then I, I think I outgrew it and then I went to the berries one. But then now I drank it too much and then it just bored me and then now I'm back to this one. My two favorite flavors is the black currant and berries. I always make sure I have this in my house. I love them. They are not healthy because they have sugar but like whatever. My other favorite snack. Um, are this yogurt it's called fusion yogurt if you watch my vlogs you know that i like to i snack on yogurt a lot because i'm because it's easier to eat than food so i prefer this and this is how small they are they're so tiny but they're, i feel like they're so filling for me because yeah this is the assorted set so you get different flavors and they taste really nice good quality love it yeah Final favorite snack is the choco. I think they're called choco bands from Carrefour. I can, I can, can. I just hate how much I love them because they're so addictive and they're so nice. I wish I, I had, I had them, but I ate before I filmed. So Demisha, but like I'm gonna insert a video. It's like a a croissant or bun filled with chocolate, but then the chocolate is not too much. It doesn't overwhelm you. So it's like a good balance of the bun and the chocolate guys i promise you it's so good they're a bit pricey because i think the but the big pack goes for 700 and something the small pack is 400 so i think that's too pricey for buns but trust me it's worth it that's it for my snacks so now we are gonna head to what should we do makeup yeah so for makeup oh my god that was the hardest to like that was the hardest list to make because I literally like all my makeup. I don't think anything works without the other, but I managed to pick products that stand out for me and I'm about to share, of course. So my number one favorite, my current favorite makeup product. You guys know I love mascara. If you know me, you know I love, I absolutely love mascara. And I found the perfect mascara. It's Fenty Beauty. It's called the, wait, there's a name. Thick, Hella Thick. It's Hella Thick by Fenty. So this is my current favorite mascara and this is why you see when you apply other mascaras on like your eye, eye whatever um after a while when you touch your lashes in kwanga dried up like the product has stuck on the lashes and the lashes are dried up and your lashes just feel uncomfortable this girl guys i that shows you how much i've studied mascara because is on mascara zingene ukipaka ni ukifanya hivi my lashes zako zimeshikana this one your lashes they feel almost the same as as if you don't have anything like yes you can feel this product but as it just she kind of like when you apply other mask i'm not even kidding if you know you know my next favorite makeup products are of course the tat concealers if you guys watch my makeup videos you know i swear by these concealers they're the best in the game 
literally the product is the huda beauty setting powder this is so gorgeous because i've tried so many um setting powders and i'm someone who doesn't know how to set my you know when i'm doing my makeup i am rushing i don't have time to stay there and do to make sure my makeup is perfect i don't have time to blend i don't like guys i can't do it it's not for me it's for other people so this one um you know how you can when you when you set your concealer with other setting powders what i've experienced it just comes out cakey ashy this one there's just something about this setting it doesn't need a lot of work that's why i love it and it doesn't cake at all it doesn't it was a bit pricey but it's worth it i've had it for a year plus now because i bought it last year for my birthday and i still have it and it's still nowhere near that so this is a good investment get into it if you if you i'm not forcing my makeup product is this nude palette whoa this is how it looks guys this palette has heal we've been through a lot with this palette i got it from jumia and it's only like 300 and something it's the one i'm wearing actually today get into it get into my eyes so i feel like this is a really 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 good quality eyeshadow palette and i've had it for a long time for like a year and i use it for like my eyeshadow for um highlights blush it's so good i love the nude pinks this is a, this these are my favorite colors so oh, okay my final favorite makeup product is this gloss by squeeze and shine currently i'm wearing fenty because <laughs> but like if i'm leaving the house trust me like i'm go i'm not even lying to you guys in every room in my house there is one of this i just love to see it and it's cheap near 50 bob and i love that it's not sticky because i hate sticky lip gloss and I love that I can leave the house with, with it because if I lose it, I'll replace it, you know. So yeah, aside from Fenty, this is my other favorite glow. Next category we are going to look at is my favorite places to shop online. My favorite places to shop at online, shop number one is Sophisty Ratchet. That is one of my best shops. I love it. I feel like they sell things that I can wear. And my, my other favorite thing about that store or shop is the fact that you can wear if you buy something from them if you buy like a, a top or a or pants or a dress you can wear it different ways like i love that they don't sell fashion they sell style which is not really that deep but i love how you can anything you buy from them you can style it like eight different ways i appreciate that my next favorite store to shop online is white room let's talk about it like, I feel like white room is such like i feel like it's so slept on but sometimes i i'm just like when i get money i'm gonna buy this shop because i feel like they just get it and i love how they they make clothes like they make clothes from scratch and like other stores where they import clothes white room is a made in kenya brand like they do everything here in kenya and it's two gorgeous girls who run that shop and like just check them out my other favorite store to shop at is definitely trendsetter babe I've been shopping there ever since I was like 20. I'm now 25. Wait, what? No, no, I'm lying. I've been shopping there since um for like three years now. I love how they sell good quality outfits, number one. And they also sell stylish stuff, which you can't really find anywhere else. Like I feel like trans what Trendsetter Babe sells, you can only find at Trendsetter. And I really like that, especially if you're classy, if you like if you're into class things really nice good quality check them so next category is hair i get so many dms about hair guys first of all let me apologize i know so I, like i literally get so many dms about hair people asking me to like what hair brand which is the best hair brand or like stuff about hair and i'm not gonna lie guys i can't be responding to all of you all the time like my dms are crazy and i'm not even saying that to be like like it's it's for real it's for real but that's why i make these videos my top five hair brands this hair brand sell good quality hair customer service credibility um and i do yeah and they ship worldwide i think if i'm not wrong so my number one favorite brand is ali grace hair number two mega look number three ali pal number four miss coco hair Number five, Love Me Hair. Those are my top five hair brands. I promise you guys, 
they have good quality hair if you if you're looking to buy your wig just any of those five i would recommend any of those five brands next category is um places so i'm gonna i don't even know how i'm gonna divide this because it's when i say places it's different so i'm gonna start with places where i get my services so number one is makeup if you are looking if you're looking to get your makeup done i would recommend and khalil and then just to see makeup lewinsky and manal i also love manal's makeup i think i talk about manal a lot <laughs> but yeah i can't wait for her to do my makeup but i feel like she really does a good job she hasn't done my makeup yet but um we are getting there so yeah i think those four if i've left out anyone i'm sorry i just can't think so like when it comes to getting my nails done i will never leave alex nail tech guys and that's on me let me tell you there's a brand that approached me and was they were offering me a huge check for nail and i was like there's no way i'm leaving my nail tech so one thing's for sure two things for certain i'm never leaving alex nail tech he just gets it especially when it comes to shaping what i focus on when it comes to nails is shaping if you cannot shape my nails correctly i am never coming back but alex always gets the job done so alex nail tech for nails pedicure and so when it comes to waxing i've been getting waxed at vespa the one in town I tried somewhere else and let me tell you yo guys never <laughs> if you are used to what I, I regret it I, I just can't go anywhere else apart from Vespa I'm sorry like I, I did I tried it and then the things that the things that happened to me no. so the next category again is places okay places I like to hang out places I like to go da, 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 da. which place has the best food da, da, da. so um <laughs> When it comes to places, I, I think I already mentioned in my previous video, like my favorite restaurants and stuff, so I want to mention that. But when it comes to like day vibes, like if you want to just have a chill day, I would definitely recommend Oyster Bay. Guys, as much as we hate that place, it's vibes. We love to hate. We like it's a it's a love hate relationship, but like I love it. I, I you can't pay me to hate Oyster. And even you Kuna tell me There's a time I used to go to Oyster every two days in a week and like you remember me i used to go like me and i'm from china which i just feel like the place is is nice the ambience the vibes in like mushanga dubai i don't know why but like i just love it so oyster bay for like day chilling and they have like shisha and drinks and nice food they actually do have nice. let's talk about it they have nice especially their prawns the prawns are managed from something in between there also like um your joker like if you're looking for i feel like your joker has the best shisha in Nairobi. guys the first time we went there with my cousin we took a nap <laughs> shisha session. it was like crazy like they have the best shisha if you want shisha if you want shisha your joker it's a bit boring it's a chill place it's like a garden and stuff Loving so now hmm. if i tell you guys my favorite club now everyone will go there Okay, no other Sina. Sina is trying to see what I So for clubbing, honestly, I'll just give it up to Milan. I love Milan. I don't know why people want to get bad about Milan. But yeah, if me, if if I was to recommend a good club for someone who's just stepped into Nairobi, I would say Milan because I like the ambience. So guys, me by the way, I pay for ambience most times unless it's like something. Like you see Oyster Bay, I like the ambience. Milan. Milan, I like the ambience. It's just nice. Plus, it's just Milan. You know, we just like Milan. So, I like Milan. But also, there's this club. There's this other club. Hey! But yeah, that club was nice. But I don't know clubs like that. Because specific clubs, they may change. And I really don't go out like that. But, so yeah, I'll just give it up to Milan. So, for favorite pastime activity, I think I like the car racing thing into rivers it was so fun i tried the one in two rivers and one in langata guys don't go <laughs> i sound like a bad kid but like i prefer the two rivers one as compared to the other one honestly i don't even know how but like the experience i had in the other place it wasn't nice and this other place is way bougie if you like ambience again just go there i haven't done anything actually in Maji. What do I do with my life? That's the only activity I have done in this Nairobi, Naniko 25. It's my favorite places to travel and my favorite airline. 
Who chill? This is my favorite topic now. When it comes to airline, honestly, guys, it depends if you are business or economy. For business class, my favorite business class, my current favorite business class, honestly, I'm afraid I have to go with Qatar. Qatar Airlines. Is it Airlines or Airways? Yeah. Do you know what? I actually like it. I get it now. But also Ugandan Airlines, they have a really cute business class. If you are into ambience again, economy, Emirates definitely. I feel like Emirates, yeah, economy at Emirates is almost slightly the service and the food and like everything compares to Ethiopian. But like the service is almost the same. So yeah, I would recommend Qatar and favorite um the travel destination is definitely Cape Town. I would highly recommend Cape Town. I love Cape Town so much. And I feel this is my thing. You see, Cape Town is like a combination of Nairobi and Diani. But now in a more developed way so you imagine the vibes in nairobi and then the vibes in diani and then you bring them together tell your babe tell your babe to take you to Cape Town. i'm all jipe like it too but it's very affordable but yeah guys you should visit Cape Town. i will highly recommend you visit Cape Town when you go there something just it's just something in the air i get it kms we get it now I, guys i promise you there's something in Cape Town. you'll enjoy like it's so like there's a beach there's a city there's nice cars in in it's like having nice cars in Diani. I love how there's restaurants, there's a mall, there's beautiful people. The weather is not so bad. It's really like the perfect me out. That is my perfect vacation destination. And I like how as much as they're gonna sit in a beach, it's not overwhelming. It's not like it's something that because you know I went to Dubai. Dubai overwhelms me. Dubai is like too big for me. But Cape Town is like I felt like I like this is the life I want. Like this is this is me. This is where I belong. So I will definitely recommend Cape Town. There's so many fun activities to do. So many food. To, like it's and like the sun sets at like 8 p.m. The sun sets at 8 p.m. Shauriako. And I Cape Town. Go to Cape. My current favorite apps definitely. Spotify. I think I only like Spotify for now. And notes. <laughs> I stay in my Spotify or my notes. Those two. Insta I don't really like Instagram right now. It's really pissing me off. I'm not even gonna lie. It's pissing me off. And I feel like all the other apps, people have opinions. Everyone is opinionated these days. Everyone is giving advice. Everyone is talking. Everyone is just can we just have fun i feel i wish like if, if we could just have it's never that serious it's really never that serious so yeah i'll stick to my spotify and notes there are other apps are just when it comes to music who am i currently listening to i'm listening to drake i feel like uh, he's so relatable even though he's not i also like the Haley song the angel that song i like it i also like let me check my Spotify. I want to start listening to Billie Eilish. I started listening to Rilo. And then some I listened to Sama Walker, Beyonce, Rihanna, all those buddies. And then Caesar. But I'm trying not to listen to Caesar. I feel like I'm not that girl anymore. And I feel like when I li this is my thing. When I listen to Caesar, it triggers me i i made a mistake of attaching her songs to people who didn't deserve it and so now i maybe this means that i haven't healed or i don't care don't judge me but now if i listen to caesar it triggers me and then i start thinking about those people i'm not doing it i yeah yeah i like you know my voice it's how you all this ain't not what you sing it ain't oh i love asha k but I, I can't keep up he's too consistent love it for him absolutely i love it i love his he inspires me a lot actually banner boy i like banner boy and there's this uk someone current faves on social media 
is i'm gonna start with youtube i like alias first on youtube and then there's shantia deja shantia deja she's like um she she's like a preacher but like I feel like I get her, I like she, she's like us, you know, you see like me, she's just a girl like me, but like she preaches, I feel like I, like she talks to, she speaks to me, she preaches to me, I love her energy, I love her vibe, I love her videos, I'm gonna link one of her videos down below, get into it, next person is Steven Fatik, I think that's how you say it, the last time I said his name, you guys came for me, but yeah, he's also a preacher, and like, I just feel like, he's my pastor, I like him, I like his sermons, and the way he preaches, okay so when it comes to tiktok let me, let me check i follow so many people on tiktok and that's i follow so many people on tiktok because it's never that serious for me like mimi adin is a corner to even you click you click and click, click anyway who do i love on tiktok you like my voice guys i like everyone on tiktok honestly as long as you are on my fyp I like you because I don't even know the people I follow. I follow everyone, but I don't mind because I don't even. TikTok is just its own app. When it comes to Instagram, let's talk about it. Let's talk about Instagram. Let's talk about it. So when it comes to Instagram, there's two girls making more money, and they don't rap. They sing songs. <laughs> no, I'm joking. That was so corny. I'm really digging these two girls. I feel like they are Africa's it girls. I feel like. They know they they are if Africa could have it girl award, they should give those two. So number one is Bonang Mateba. I love Bonang. She's such a she's so Bonang. Bonang is so Bonang. I love her. I can't wait to meet her one day. And the next favorite it girl, Africa's it girl, our very own it girl. She's in Tokyo. Are you dumb? We, me have never seen anyone go to Tokyo. I'm a Nimi I don't know, but like Choma, Choma with a good hair. Choma is. Choma is living the life. Choma is, Choma is, we are just here writing notes. Like, I feel like Choma, oh my gosh, I love her. I love her so much. She inspires me a lot. I just look at her and I see myself. Even when I look at Bonang, I just look at Bonang and Choma, I'm like, hmm, you're the blueprint. You are the blueprint. I feel like your girl, bless those girls. They are representing us well as Africans. They are doing a good job. I'm so proud of them. Skipping your own gear. But yeah, I love them. I feel like they get it. And they are black girls like me. Like they are just like me. That's that that is what gets. So next we're gonna go to accessories. So when it comes to accessories, I feel like right now I'm at a point where I like really minimal small dainty whatever accessories what am i saying whatever i want something very dainty very small not seen i don't want to cause too much noise with my jewelry so i try to keep it simple my number one favorite accessories are definitely stars i love 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 stars i bought this ones at dubois for like 20 bob but they don't rust and they they last a long time i love feeling like if you wear stars you just look Okay, for me, I feel like you just look beautiful. It just makes you look, it brings out your face. You look beautiful. You, you, you look young. You look youthful. You look feminine. It just gives. I'm not saying everyone should wear it. Trust me by the, this video. I'm not trying to say this is what you should do. No, I'm just sharing. I, it makes me feel so nice about myself. So, yeah. Next is at my bracelet, guys. <laughs> I want to actually take myself to Swarovski. I have actually not bought myself anything this year, imagine. I haven't bought myself even one gift this year. Imagine that you call August. <gasps> but when I'm in the mood of buying myself things, I'm definitely taking myself to Swarovski because I deserve it. And because I have, I have this bracelet. It's Swarovski. I got it for my birthday last year and I wear it. I barely ever take it off. I shower with it. I wash dishes with it. I'm gonna definitely get more, especially the earrings. I'm dying for Swarovski stands, guys. It is going to end even Swarovski. It's over. But yeah, I feel like they have really nice jewelry, especially if you like dainty stuff. Trust me, you're gonna get everything you need there. So, yeah. so guys, before we get into like skincare, actually let's actually let's get into skincare, and it's a whole bunch of stuff. Skincare. These are my favorite products. So number one is the La Roche Posay Effa Cleanser. 
I bought this and um, the moisturizer which I can't find and then I also bought this um, sunscreen it's by La Roche Posay this is on Tattoo TV guys insane like they work like magic especially me you know I have problematic skin my skin is super sensitive but like that collection really worked for me I also love the Bandari Beauty cleanser the bubble cleanser this bomb Imesha but I, I'm gonna restock it but yeah of course Imesha because I used all of it guys I'm, I've run out of my things my skincare is Imesha my 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 okay I need to stop being best cleanser I've used so far it's similar to this I'm not gonna lie it's similar super nice super nice I would highly recommend and then I like I just like how it looks it's pink it has the brush and it's for all skin types this one is for oily and sensitive so next skincare product that i absolutely love is this emulsifying ointment i got it from bandari beauty it does is that it restores and moisturizes very dry skin so if you've watched my vlog you know i've talked about it so this is really good for your skin if you want soft soft glowy skin this one next product i loved is this CeraVe cream but I think they have a moisturizer so this really restore like it, it like fixes your skin it gives you smooth skin glowy skin healthy skin my other favorite skincare product is this Dove body wash I really like this body wash Imeisha all my products is Imeisha <sighs> so this body wash it I, I like how when I shower it makes like this Sikama normal sabuni. My skin feels smooth and soft and really nice. I like how my, how it makes my skin. This is my the feminine wash I use. It's from Vespa again. I use the on the citrus one. This one. I can't I can't remember the price, but I bought it at Vespa and I go to the Vespa in town. So what this does, it restores your pH and it eliminates odors and sweat. Plus, I I after I use this, I go in. <laughs> I go in with my yoni oil from Vespa. This thing works like magic. Let me tell you guys. I'm allergic to some pads. And Kidogo, like, there was a day I was, I don't know, I was out or somewhere. So I asked, I didn't have a pad. And I asked someone for, a, for their pad. And then they gave me, and then that pad messed me up, bro. Like, I had breakouts. <laughs> so I used this. And they disappeared. So... That tells you that you of pads. Let me put you guys on. So if you know me, oh, you don't know me. But the last time I did this video, I introduced you guys to a pad, and you guys loved it. Everyone loved it. Okay, but I have something better. It's called More by Sim, and I have the privilege of working with them. But before that, of course, I tested the pad, and you know, like I've told you guys, me, I can't use just anything. I use cotton pads, and this one, guys full cotton full oh my god i hope you guys can see it can you guys see but ni cotton like ni cotton i love for my my other favorite thing about this part you see how in other parts you mess up they have a dry feel leakage protection that's my thing and they don't irritate you i hate parts that irritate my freaking skin this one guys i promise if it's cotton you already know you already know what's up so yeah there's no spilling it prevents this you see this ninis they prevent leakage so when like your liquid hits the <laughs> your liquid hits the pad it goes like this it doesn't spill basically and it doesn't leak and it's cotton it's cotton Try another favorite skincare product is definitely the Nivea Rich Nourishing Body Lotion, this blue one. If you watch my vlogs again, which you should, you know that I mentioned this. Guys, this thing makes your skin glow, like your skin glows. So this lotion is the body, it's the normal Nivea lotion. But now this one, it has deep moisture serum and natural almond oil and vitamin E. And it's for very dry Oh, it's for dry to very dry skin if you know me you know what why would i say that i have very dry skin like especially now quiet weather but really my skin dries up so fast so i have to keep apply i have to apply a lot of 
you know a lot of lotion and stuff so this it makes my skin glow literally and if i'm going out maybe to the club or if my legs are out or maybe at i need to i pair it up with this it's roche what is it called moisturizing pali oil it's the gold oil if you mix this too you will look like an angel no that as you look so good like your skin glows very nicely but you don't have to make you can you don't have to because this one already gives you the glow i just mix this too if i'm stepping out but if i'm in the house or if i'm just around guys so unfortunately or fortunately i have to cut this video short like i have to go i literally need to leave my camera is like heating up and like it's like 10 30. <gasps> it's 10. it's 10. Anyway, so finally we are gonna finish with like scents. I hope they may cover everything. If I haven't covered anything, I'm gonna we're gonna be doing this like at least every six months, right? That when it comes sense. to scents, I'm gonna start with my candles first. So these are my current favorite candles. This one is linen and this one is called Fig and Hub. Um they're scented candles. I got them at House of Leather and they're, they were so affordable. Considering no Nanga is the candles, it costs you 1500, still quite 600, 600 each. So I think that's fair. Considering the a glass, nani candle. And then I asked, they told me it's like 3K. 3000 for candles. So yeah, if you want cheap, and they smell nice actually, they make your house smell um, really nice. So if you want cheap, Good quality scented candles. You can get them at Nini. House of Leather. Comes to perfume. I'm a very simple girl. I don't like my perfume to to have everyone's attention. You know, I don't want I don't want people to even like start, like yes, I want to smell nice, I'm not gonna lie, but I don't want my perfume to grab the attention for the room. I want the the girls who get it to get it. You get like I want and I know that's crazy, like what are you saying? Yeah, I don't like attention, especially not from perfume, because now everyone is like, mm -mm. I just like, I like simple, I like simple but smell nice. So I'm going to start with my favorite Zara perfumes. This is my favorite Zara perfume. It was actually my first Zara perfume. It's called hmm, Tube Rose or Tab Rose or whatever. Yeah, it smells so nice. I can only, it smells really nice, guys. It's, it's in a, you, it, to me, I don't know how to describe scents. But Mimi Venena, I think you can check it. You can Google it. I mean, you can check it online. It gives New York. For me, it smells like New York. And I've never even been to New York. I don't even know why I would describe perfume like that. But it gives New York. I love it. My other favorite Zara perfume is this Amalfi Sandra. And you know what's crazy? I thought I was the only one who knows this perfume. The other day I was on Instagram. And one of my Instagram faves, they posted it. They recommended this perfume. And like, this perfume is like... It's, it's very chill. I wear it to bed actually. This is what I wear to bed. So when I saw that girl post, when I saw when I saw that she posted it, I was like, oh my god, oh my god. But yeah, it smells really nice. But like I wear it for bed. I can't really describe how it smells. It smells like a garden. My favorite, favorite, favorite perfume. It's Fenty by Fenty. I only have the sample. They gave me the sample, but I'm I'm gonna buy my when I when I go to buy my Swarovski one day. I'm gonna buy plus this perfume guys this perfume smells so good I, it's, it gives but and if, what I like about this perfume it's not too much I hate too much perfume like why is your perfume too much no I just feel like no I feel like I'm a lady I I don't want all that attention I want to smell nice and just look pretty and smell nice and this <sighs> This smells like Rihanna, like Nili Parker. I've worn it once and I was just like, I, the whole day I just kept on telling myself, I smell so good, I smell like Rihanna, I smell so And then I paired it with this one. This is my other favorite Zara perfume. It's the Golden Decade by Zara. If you pair this two up. Guys, I, I can't wait to buy it. When I when I start buying myself things, please remind me to buy this perfume for myself. It's a really nice, like I would, this is the best thing that's happened to me this week. Honestly, I've had the, Day. I don't even want to talk about my week, but this perfume just made me feel like I'm gotten. It made me feel powerful. So I will recommend. I can't wait to. Guys, Monique, 
Okay, so finally, I'm gonna finish off with my favorite Bible verse because, of course, I have to give God the glory. Of course, He's my dad, and He's the reason I'm here. So, my favorite Bible verse currently, I have a lot, but I'm currently digging the Psalm 63. It says, it's it's a it's like a poem of just wanting more of God. I'm in that phase of my life where I just want. I want to know God better. I want to spend time with God, and it's 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 really nice. It gives love song for me. And ile love song ya ushe sketch ile love song deep. Mbaka una shanga kai unchal kwa nafikiri ani ni akiandi kawebo akiandi kai webo. That's how I feel about Psalm 63. It just makes me. I feel like I that that's the only way I can express how much I want God in my life and how much I adore Him and how much I love Him and how much like it's just it's a love song. It's a dedics dedics to God. You know. Yeah, so I really thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you had a great time, make sure you comment and like and share. And yeah, comment down below what video I should do next. I really like doing these videos. And like, I hope you guys were. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Um, I'm digressing now. Bye, guys. Bye. We're going to